Hey guys, to our new tutorial on Agile CRM. This is a very good software, uh, software as a service, uh, which is available on the cloud for doing customer relationship management. Okay, so before we go into the software, let me uh, clarify two things out here. We are dealing with two concepts here. One is that of cloud computing, another is customer relationship management. So like before we go into the integrities of the software, let me first explain to you what cloud computing is and also what CRM is all about, right? So let's go ahead and let's learn a little bit about uh, cloud computing. When we are talking about cloud computing, it's uh, basically a remotely hosted platform, right? So there will be uh, infrastructure involved in it where there will be computers, there will be storage facilities, there will be a network. So a part of the cloud is basically the hardware network structure that is there. This network structure can actually be located in a place uh, which is far from you. It can be centrally located or it can be like spread out internationally, like say Amazon Web Server. Like uh, their infrastructure is like spread out all over the world. And also you can have localized storage at one of their servers, one of the zones. Now, so it effectively means there is a hardware which can be in any part of the world. It can be centrally located. It can be spread out across the world. On that particular hardware is running a layer of platform. Okay, that is what we are talking about object storage and identity management like the users then a runtime environments for various programs, then programming queues and databases like MySQL, etc. So that overall uh, structure, the operating system of that particular uh, server where things are running, those web servers, those, uh, uh, those softwares that make everything possible. So that layer is running, that is the platform. Like I'll just give you an example, cause something like say CentOS or something like, uh, you know, various kind of uh, hosting platforms that are there where you have the basic storages and databases and queue and runtime, etc. So this hosting uh, framework is there, which is uh, on the software side. And then, comes a layer of applications, various applications uh, that are running, okay? So effectively, these uh, two are normally managed by centrally provided uh, companies like something like AWS, Amazon Web Service, or Microsoft Azure, or Google, uh, companies like that, and on which are running various uh, applications. Sometimes they are also running it at their own servers. So when we are talking about application, it can be for monitoring uh, of data. So you can be uh, monitoring the data. It can also be news. It can also be a collaboration platform like uh, where we are, where the CRM uh, comes in. There can be communication like Gmail, uh, emails, and finance, uh, say for cloud accounting and all that. So these applications can be varied in nature and you will actually be logging on to the application end and and basically uh, passing your data across this uh, cloud and doing your work you'll be logging on through servers desktop tablets phones and laptops so all these uh, remote clients will be logging on to the central cloud and they will be doing their work so nothing is installed locally everything is there in the cloud you just log on with your laptop or your phone and you do your work on the cloud so this is called cloud computing and something that you have been uh, e using for a long time is something like gmail which is basically a cloud computing uh, platform okay now let's go a little bit into crm what is actually a crm a crm is called customer relationship management and irrespective of whatever uh, software you might have been using uh, or will use CRM will have four basic features in it four basic features in it so they are first is the marketing then there's the sales then there's the contact center and service automation okay what do we mean by all this 
marketing automation comes in to help when you have a lead and uh, you want to send some promotional uh, material uh, then you can program your emails to take care of automatic campaigns when a uh, email comes in uh, to your server you can send out uh, some information to that email so that's again automated so various things that can be automated for marketing for making campaigns is called marketing automation so this is one of the primary features of uh, CRM okay now second is the Salesforce automation effectively what happens when a lead comes in a lead will come in from various sources a particular representative will be assigned to it it will be auto calculated that not two guys from our end are actually following up that lead so and uh, various deals will be tracked various sales funnels will be tracked a lot of data will be used so all that is basically being done automated way so that is called Salesforce automation and management okay then uh, what we have is uh, contact center automation see effectively what happens uh, another very interesting feature of CRM is uh, giving customer support nowadays customer support is available uh, through help of email through help of phone calls through help of web tickets that you might be creating so various kinds of customer support services are there so an uh, integral feature of CRM will be able to give you contact center support that's a contact center automation they will be giving and you will be able to assign cases to various representatives you will be able to assign cases to various people who's going to give the support you can decide when the service is going to happen and all that so all that will be taken care of at the contact center automation okay a lot of things are getting done in an automated way so understand this the marketing automation is for doing marketing activities salesforce automation is actually for doing your sales related activities contact center automation is for your customer service uh, related activities then there's something called service automation there are a lot of things a lot of projects uh, you can create there are uh, calendars that you can maintain there are lots and lots of things that you can do uh, you can do uh, with your uh, workforce so all these things uh, uh, various services can be automated okay alerts can be automated uh, reminders can be automated messages can be automated so a lot of features get automated so that's called service automation